what's up? Got a new video here today for uh, engine mount on a Ford Focus. Um, they're all basically the same. The Z-Tex and the Duratex, up to the newest ones here, the 2009, are, they're mounted the same way. Three 15 millimeter bolts. One, two, three. You can see right there. And then there's two studs coming out of the engine front cover themselves and two 18 millimeter nuts. Alright, first thing you want to do is support the engine by the oil pan. Use a regular jack, but use a 2x6 or 2x4, something to span the weight out. Across it like that. Down towards the end here, towards the front of the engine. That's where you want to support it at. The back side still supported during this engine mount removal. Alright, in order to uh, test to see if your mount is bad, it'd be hard to visually see it. Um, that separate. Usually the rubber grounds out in there. It rubs away and then it grounds out in there, the metal to metal. And you start feeling more and more vibration. In idle, in um, park, you'll feel it. But especially like in drive. Be like, oh, the engine's r idling rough, but it's just the regular engine vibrations that are transferring through to the body so you're feeling everything alright the best way to check to see if that mount is bad since you can't see it if it is actually bad is to um, have someone in the car with a car idling um, in park is fine and they'll feel the vibration and you come over here and you have your jack and your piece of wood right there like I just showed you and you jack it up just a little bit take the weight off and they'll feel the vibration go away. Now after you jack it up a little bit and get that weight off that mount, if that mount is bad internally where you can't see it, the person in the car is going to really be able to tell um, how the rough idle is gone or vibration is gone, whatever they're feeling. Um, that's when you know you need to change it out and uh, it's very common on the focuses, even up to the new ones, I would say up to 11. And uh, we're going to show you how to change that since it's so common. Um, the SPI, ZTEX, and the Duratex, like this one, it's all the same idea, and they're all it's all common for this right side mount more than the uh, trans mount over here under there to go. So we're going to show you how to change this out. All right, first thing we need to do is pull the the overflow bottle here, that bolt and that bolt to both the 10 millimeter. Off to the side. Something like that so it doesn't spill out the top or the um, side there and now you can see we got access to our, our 15 millimeter bolts one two three so we're gonna pull those next before we take the weight off the uh, engine mount that one now you can see the engine still resting in the body now what I like to do before we pull the engine mount is mark the original factory location just so it doesn't get tweaked in there so that's approximate and that'll kind of give us a reference where it goes back. Alright, now that our uh, engine mount is marked, one, two, and three bolts are out. Now we can lift it with the jack, and that's underneath on the oil pan. And we're going to lift it 
so it gets the weight off the vehicle. You see it start coming off the body. Take it off there a little bit, so you have some more room to work around with. And now it's safe to pull that engine mount off because the weight is being safely held by the jack. So next we got to pull out these two nuts right here, they're 18 millimeter. to the side. This will probably happen. This side didn't come loose, but it'll probably happen like this. The stud will come out. I have to put that back in and lock tight it down, torque it. So Now you just need to yank it out of there. It's a little uh, Alright, so it's a little bit difficult to get out of here, but um, this is the way I found is easiest. I like an angle like this, up and over that stud, come towards the valve cover, wiggle a little more. Just keep moving it around. And you just keep clearing different parts of it, and you'll get it out. Wiggle it around. All right, we're going to want to clean these rocks off of here so it sits on the body flush. Rocks and debris. Same thing up here. And if you got it, blow it out too. The the threads here. Alright, same thing, going back in, hook it into there, bring the leg of it down there, clear the pulley, clear the valve cover, wiggle a little more, and we're basically home free, Just hook it onto that one, now we can get that stud back in there, a little Loctite on there. Put it back in there, screw it in by hand, so you get your threads aligned. And then you could take a regular ratchet, tighten it back down. Alright, so tighten that down. See this one was loose too, so you might as well tighten this one. It's always good to check. All right, now that our two uh, studs here are tight, put a dab of Loctite on them, just like that. Focus, there we go. And then we can uh, go ahead and install our two nuts on here. And the torque spec on these is 66 foot-pounds. Alright, so go ahead and lower it down. We start getting close to that. Uh... Now, before the weight gets on the car too much, we want to be able to move it around. So, go ahead and move it around and adjust it to your hold there. So, we can get all the bolts lined up. by hand without cross threading just giving them it only by hand well it's still easy to move alright now that uh, our paint marks are lined up right here 
as close as possible. I know the engine mounts may differ because this is a new design. Um, go ahead and let the engine down, let it down off the um, jack so you can get the weight on the car here. And then we can uh, go ahead and tighten these, these three bolts down. Torque spec on these bolts, all three of them, is um, 35 foot pounds. Alright, we can, uh, last step is to put the overflow bottle back. Make sure you hook it back on that little stud bolt down there. Line up your two bolts right here. Now these are 35 inch pounds. Hand tightening will do on these, just so you don't split the plastic. Snug them up. So I hope yours went as easy as mine did. Um, they really aren't that bad. A lot of people are weirded out by the fact that they got to uh, the engines be free hanging there and it's not going to be mounted. And putting a block on an oil pan, that is the way to do it. Alright, so another job well done. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I don't know what I'll be fixing next time in my videos, but I'm hoping they are helping you guys with your issues and uh, helping you get it done right and done yourself. So uh, save a little money. Until next time, this is Ford Tech Make You Loco signing off.